In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this strap cushion. This is particularly designed for adjustable strap and it can fit up to one and a half inch wide strap. And this will definitely make carrying your bag much more comfortable. To start with, you want to cut four little rectangles from the main fabric. We're going to call the two larger rectangles as panel 1 and 2 and the smaller rectangles as panel 3 and 4. And you will also need to cut a piece of foam stabilizer and a fusible woven interfacing. Sandwich panel 1, foam stabilizer and then panel 2 together and then fuse them in place. If you use only one-sided fusible, you can just base stitch the second panel after you fuse the foam. And if you use the non-fusible foam, you can just sandwich them the same way and then base stitch all around with quarter of an inch of seam allowance. And here I've already fused my foam in place. Now fuse the fusible woven interfacing to the wrong side of panel 3. Once you've done that, you want to lay panel 3 and 4 right sides together and then stitch along the short edges with quarter of an inch of seam allowance. Press the seams open and then turn this to the right side and then top stitch along the side edges. Now you want to lay the smaller rectangle on top of the larger rectangle. Center the position just like that. It doesn't really matter which panel facing what since they're all the same fabric. Now secure them in place with some sewing clips. Then you can go ahead and base stitch in place with 1 8 of an inch of seam allowance. So this will be the slot for the strap. Next you want to curve all the corners so use some kind of rounded object. In this case, I used my thread spool. You can use pretty much anything that's similar in size. So I'm aligning my thread spool towards the edge of one of the corner and then trace the curved shape with my fabric marker. And then cut with a pair of scissors. And of course, you want to do the same to all the corners. All right, so our strap cushion is almost done. The last step that you want to do is to bind the edges with bias tape. Here again I'm using the double fold bias tape half an inch wide. Again you can always make your own bias tape if you wish to. So go ahead and bind this with your favorite binding method. I'm sewing my binding pretty much the same way I did the side panel. However I'm going to finish this with hand stitching to make a clean finish. So I'm starting off from one of the side and right on the center. Again, leaving about a couple of inches tail for overlapping. And then I'm going to stitch all around the fold line crease. And of course, as I get to the corner, I'm going to snip the bias tape a little bit. So it will lay flat along the curves. Again, I overlap my tape by half an inch. And then I'm going to sew them together with half an inch of seam allowance. I finish my binding with hand stitching by doing slip stitches. If you don't fancy hand stitching, you can go ahead and just stitch along the edges, just like what we did with the side of the bag. Alright, so our strap cushion is pretty much done at this point. Now you can fit your strap through the slot, just like that, and you are good to go. And that's it for this episode guys. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time with another fun sewing projects. Goodbye!